Well, pull our auto across, uh, auto. Our autocross event keeps getting uh, rained out. This is uh, the second time that we've been all ready to go with the Cutlass and the forecast is calling for rain. So they don't cancel it per se, but there's no way I'm gonna go out there with this in the, in the rain. It's just not gonna be a good time. So tonight, we're going drag racing. What a hack. The oil hasn't been changed in the Oldsmobile and like two years or something because it's kind of been sitting so we're gonna change the oil give you guys like a, a little view from the bottom here we put a big sway bar in it uh, tubular control upper control arm from for like circle track stuff and uh has a st uh, stall converter or is it can you see the quarter welded uh o2 sensor or no Ooh. remember we welded a quarter onto it to plug the hole. That's plugged. That one oh. has one that I don't know where it is. The rear end, uh, this is the first time I've seen a yeah, lift yeah. in a long no, time. It. Has a uh, sway bar on the bottom, relocation brackets for the control arms, adjustable, are these adjustable? No. Control arms, uh, Jack put jack and bolts in it, um, adjustable uppers. And then you put this brace on it when you had it, right? Yeah. Jeff actually bought this from me, what, two years ago? I sold it to him and then I had to have it back, so I traded him an engine for it back. But we're gonna change the oil and maybe grease some stuff and then uh, load it up on the trailer and go drag racing. Should be fun, right? Yeah. The oil and the filter are on. And what did I do? One of the last oil changes that I did, what did I do when I changed my truck, remember? You forgot to put the drain plug in and you looped up my- And we were all talking, we were all talking, and then someone says, hey, Chris, there's, there's oil leaking out of that, out of your, tr <laughs> your truck. And there was a, there was a ring in here. <laughs> and we were all, we weren't even upset because the, the, the floor was messy. We were like, oh. That's six quarts of new oil. <laughs> we were, I think you were like, oh, is there any way to get that up off the ground? We could use that in my yard truck or something, weren't you? Waste oil furnace. Waste oil furnace, that's right. How many gallons did you say you burned? It has a counter on it, doesn't it? Uh, it's about 25,000 hours. 20, Two gallons an hour. About 50,000 gallons. And how many barrels is that? 55 gallon barrel. 50,000. Someone's got to do the math. Leave in the comment section or something. Some barrels aren't full, so you can't go that way. That's true. So I've got water and antifreeze on them, so you can't count them. I don't know. Just All right. keep it full, like you would still. So I get the filter and the uh, drain plug back in this time. I'm going to fill up with oil. I, run, uh, I don't run a regular oil cap. I run one of these vents. Uh, but... Usually oil seeps out of these pretty bad, so you get a zip tie a shop rag onto it. Onto it. I learned that from from watching that uh, roadkill show. So yep, this is a 317 headed six liter. Nothing special. Has a camshaft in it and a carburetor. Right, Jeff? Yep. We were talking about uh, when I forgot to put my drain plug in my truck. Remember that? You put it in. Well, I put this one in, yeah. yeah I learned my lesson. Well, you guys don't spill, I'll put in the waste off. Okay, I didn't prep this well enough. I just should have taped the frame off when I painted it. And now, now the frame is like gray and I can't stand that. So I'm gonna try to touch it up just a little bit and uh, make it look 
a little bit better. This is uh, this is the good stuff, the 3M rubberized laundry coating. It's been in my garage for a long time, so I hope that it's still good. It seems like it is. I ever saw this stuff being used is when you and your dad were doing like doing rocker panels on that that ship box truck. Yep. No holes, man. Works good. Put it over the sheet metal. It'll make it last a while. In this spot. Thing is, like, I can't. Yeah, you can. It's Rattle can restoration right there, bud. Pretty much. Don't do too good of a job. People think you're a professional. Oh, I'm not. Oh, I got some on the tire. What? <laughs> Don't worry. Whatever. The first burnout totally you do, gone. you're gone. Uh. You want to spray over the dirt. That's what you want to do. What are you doing? I don't know. I think you're just wasting that stuff, bud. It does look really good, though. Okay. And then this side. It's rubberized, see? <laughs> All the rubber. Taking a Bonnie Eagle, bud. It does look better, though. Yeah, you'll see it when you have it up on the left. Right. We're on the trailer. Ooh, yeah. On the Wrecker. Tow truck, bud. Come on, man, you're getting too fussy. Well, I may as well, what do they say, do it once and do it right? It's only half the battle. No one will be able to see our frame patch now. Who oh, cares? Remember when we had found Bondo? Oh, I think that's Bondo in the frame. All right, I think I'm getting too fussy. Yeah, save that stuff. That looks pretty good, though, yeah? Can't hide forever. Brad came to help us. He's being camera shy right now, but he's helping us uh, with everything today. <laughs> Check out the uh, the planks. This is a tried and true method on how to get your lowered car onto a center post lift. It works great every time, right? Yep. Yep. Back it up, go this way. Straight. Straight. 
six inches. It's off. Back up two inches.
signed up for the street class and I've never bracket raced before so the car is not consistent nor am I so we were all talking and I'm gonna do a you gotta dial in your number um, so 7.69 is what I'm gonna write on the window and I can't go faster than that so we'll try it out
lost by .074. I've never bracket raced before. Um, I dialed a 769 and I ran a 782 at 88 miles an hour. He dialed a 1070 and ran a 1094. So it was like really close, but I should have been. I shouldn't have dialed. A, I didn't. I think my fastest time was at 774 or something. 778 was it, Brad? Um, and I didn't want to break out, so I I predicted too fast, basically. But it was still fun. We went two rounds or one <laughs> one round. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna put my air cleaner back on and we'll tow it back to Jeff's, and we gotta drive home still. So it was a win. I didn't break anything. Had fun. I'd say that's that's good. That's a good night. <laughs>